people were legit just dropping just me up. I don't know, but the style matched the flow. So when niggas stay wavy up down to the sneakers. And now I ain't talking about no movie or no Gucci. I'm just talking rose dreams and astounding Adidas. You gotta love when humble man rumble. Cause I don't say Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ty Boogie. Hey man, I'm back in the building, alright? Your boy, I know y'all seen my little apartment uh tour video or you know my apartment video that I did, whatever. But you know, I ain't had no furniture at the time. But now your boy, you know, my room is all done for. Like it's it's basically done for. I got I got my bed, got my good bed, good bed, and I got my TV in this motherfucker. Like, I'm gonna do apartment tour when I get all my furniture. So if you're a new viewer, don't get to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, right? Cause it will get real. You know, I'm gonna have placal, I'm gonna have everything, you know, everywhere, you know, TVs on every wall. You know, stuff like that. But anyways, so today we're going to be doing a story time. A story time on the worst thing I had to experience in basic training, okay? I ain't did an Army video in a while. I ain't really talked about the Army in a while. And if you are a returning viewer, you know why, all right? Um, But anyways, so before we get started, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram. It should be on this side or it might be on that side. It's depending on how I'm feeling, you know, depending on how I'm feeling how I'm at when I'm editing, all right? So, um, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, y'all. So, <clears throat> this part of training, I'm going to tell y'all what it's called, what, what it's called so y'all can look it up and all that stuff. I'm going to tell y'all at the end of the video, all right? So, stick around because, um, you might want to look into this, you know, before you decide to go to basic training. <coughs> Gotta get right. All right. <clears throat> so this is like towards the end of basic training, all right? So, you know, you got red phase, you got yellow phase, and then you got uh, blue phase. Blue phase is when you about to graduate. Um, No, it's red phase, white phase, then blue phase. I apologize. Each is like three weeks. So, you know, the first three weeks is real crazy. It's where they get in your face. Like, hey, man, get down. Yeah, you mother... Yeah, get down right now. Yeah, right now. Right now. You know, it's that type of stuff. You like... Yeah, you don't start yet. And you know, you get down, you just do your thugism, you know? That's that's that part or whatever. So yellow phase is kind of when they ease up. They they hit you with the, hey man, just you know, get down. Get down. Nah, get down, you know, if you don't listen. You know, they talk to you like that. See how it kind of changes, you know, the easy the uh further you get into training, the lighter they talk to you. So blue phase, they're like, hey nigga, come on. <laughs> Fuck with me. Come on. Get your ass down. You know, come on, you about to leave. Get down. You know, they talk to you like that, you know, like real quick. They don't call you nigga or nothing like that, you know. That's just me. Yeah, that's just me. You know, so anyways, <clears throat> so blue phase is where everything is kind of like real simmered down. And it's towards the end. So you, you're ready to leave. You on 10. Like, you and this motherfucker, like, <clears throat> I don't care what y'all say. <clears throat> I'm about to go. You know, like, everything, nothing phases you no more. I mean, you're not stressing. Only thing you think about is, hey, I'm going to do whatever y'all tell me to do so I can get the fuck out of here, man. So, one of the things you got to do is take a PT test. So, your PT test, I mean, look, I don't know about y'all, but that's the, if it's the last PT test I got to take for me to go home, oh, it's going to be the best PT test. I don't care if my heart stop beating. I can fuck around and die on that damn uh, PT field. I'm gonna keep running just so I can make my ass home. It's gonna be a dead man running around this mother. He's like, hey, is that nigga dead? Yeah, that nigga dead, but he's gonna get this shit done, all right? That's, that's just how I feel. I will kill myself running around that mother. Nah, let me stop playing, let me stop playing. I'm playing, y'all, I'm playing. But anyways, um, so after you get done with the PT test, you you uh, qualify with your weapon or whatever, which means you know you, uh, you shoot the right amount of targets or whatever. So now you're good, all right? So there's one more event that you got to go through, okay? There's one more event you got to go through. Let me tell you about it. So I ain't know nothing about this event. Some people did. It was like, oh, yeah, I see this on YouTube. You know, oh, my oh, oh, the brother told me about this. So I'm like, all right, all right. Um, Well, what is it? You know, ain't nobody really want to tell me what it was. It was like, bro, you going to see. You going to see. <clears throat> So one day, drill sergeant come in there. Now, when drill sergeant come around, you just know some bullshit is coming about right behind him, all right? So I'm like, all right, you know, he's back. You know, he's back. Let's let's see what he got for us today. So he said, everybody put all your uh put all your gear on. So I you know, all gear, all right, you know, I ain't gonna say no shit. So I put I put my damn gear on. You know, a little GI Joe motherfucker. You know, I walk out that moment. You know, he's like, get your weapons too. So I got my weapon. Put your helmet on. Put my helmet on, you know. Put your glasses on. Don't forget your glasses. 
put my glasses on, boom. So now I'm looking real army-ish, you know? I'm looking like a real G.I. Joe soldier, you know? Straight out of, uh, I don't know, one of these little army videos, you know? Stuff like that. So we got our knee pads on and our elbow pads. So in my head, I'm like, we ain't never had to wear all this shit. Like, what the fuck? What, what were we about to do? So, but you know, you can't ask nothing though. You can't, you just gotta flow with it. Just flow with it. So we leave or whatever. Meanwhile, I got on every fucking thing I own. Um, we leave and you know, we walking. We walking out there, motherfucker. So first we walk outside and, and you know, we, all right, you know, I recognize this place, you know, we walked this route before. It ain't too far. I want to say like three miles past. Okay. We still walking out this motherfucker. All right. You know, I'm a little tired at this point. I'm a little tired. And, you know, I'm looking, I'm walking and we walking like in a straight line. So, you know, there's somebody right in front of me and then there's another line, you know, so nobody's in the middle of the road. So now we're on the road. Nobody's in the middle of the road. There's people on the other side of the road, you know, they're walking as well. So it's two, five lines just walking. So I'm like, all right, baby, we about to go to the range or something. You know, so I'm, I'm looking around and shit, you know, looking around, looking around. Yeah, I, I don't see no ending to this road. So this is a long motherfucking road. Like this road was really long. So I, right, we finally get to end of the road. Like seven miles done passed. So I'm like, all right, my feet are killing me. My feet hurt, man. My feet hurt. Like my shit was feeling bad. Like, look, y'all, I got bad feet, y'all. I got bad feet from that day. From that day, it happened on that day, all right? I'm, I'm gonna call the VA about this later on, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But anyways, so all these miles passed and we still walking. And the, the reason why I knew how many miles we was on um, basically passing is cause there was like little stakes in the roads. Another mile, another mile, walk some more, another mile. So I'm like, ah damn, how many miles is out this motherfucker? How far does goddamn North Carolina take us? Like, goddamn, like like in a minute, we're gonna be in South Carolina. But anyways, so we, we keep walking, we keep walking. On the 12th mile, we finally stop. Now, my feet and my ankles is done with. Like, all right, they are done with. My hands hurt. They cramped up on the weapon. I couldn't, like, when I put my weapon down, my hands were still like this. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, my, my fingers were stuck. My shit was stuck in, in, in a trigger squeeze. And, and, and my other weapon, I don't, I don't know what the fuck this hand was doing, but, but there's nothing you could do with this. Like, so I don't know what this, what this hand was doing. I think it was just imitating this one. So I'm in this motherfucker like this. You know, they was like, Garrett, you can put your hand down. I said, I can't drill, Sergeant. I said, Garrett, put your hand down. I said, I can't drill, Sergeant. I said, Garrett, put your hands down. I said, well, God damn, drill, Sergeant. So anyways, so now finally we get into like, like the forest or some shit. Thought I heard some shit. But anyway, I'll be tripping some time. Um, it's from that day. It's from that day, man. But anyways, finally we get in the forest or some shit. And they say, okay. Go find your fighting position. So now I don't know. I, like I mean, I've been paying attention, but to be honest with y'all, you know, I'm I'm one of them dudes. I'm like, all right, if I see you fuck up, I'm gonna make sure I don't do that. And I ask, hey, what was you trying to do? Oh, that's what he said we had to do. And you just fucked it up. All right, I'm gonna do something else. But now I understand what I gotta do. So I was that guy. You know, I kind of learned of other people's mistakes. So when he told us go find our fighting positions, I'm like, all right, let me see what everybody else do. You know. Uh, he over there, uh, he over there, all right. That's my battle buddy. Let me go see what the fuck he talking about. So I said, hey, man, look, what, what, what the hell are we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be doing? He said, look, we got to find our fighting positions. Um, and that's all Joe Sargent told us. I said, what the fuck is a fighting position, man? My fighting position right here, you know, or sometime right here. You know, you got to put him up like this. You know, he, he was like, nah, man, nah. Um, you got to find a position on the floor, on the ground or whatever, you know, uh, you know, to, to aim your weapon or whatever. I was like, for what? He was like, we gonna find out. So I'm like, all right, smooth. So we finally, so I basically, you know, I copy him or whatever. I was just right next, like wherever he said his shit was, my shit was right there next to him, all right? So I was like, hey man, mine's right here then. That's yours? And mine's right here, all right, that's good? He said, yeah. I said, all right. So from there, Joe Sargent says, hey, um, y'all might wanna get the digging. I said, wait, 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 what we digging for? What we digging for? Joe Sargent, what we digging for? What we digging for, huh? What we digging for? So Joe Sargent tells us that we have to dig a hole that um it's called a foxhole. We gotta dig a hole that is two M16s long. So in other words, going this way, this shit gotta be like you gotta put your M16 
uh, you got to put your M16 and your battle buddy's M16 to know how long it has to be. Then the top, the top of it, like, you know, the front of it, goddamn. So it's almost like a little, uh, what do you call that? Rectangle. So this, the top size, got to be the same size as two helmets. So you put one helmet down, you put another helmet down. Now, how deep does it have to be? It has to be, no. It wasn't a certain... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't even a certain goddamn uh, depth of how deep it has to go. It has to go to the tallest person. Of course, it's my 6'2", black ass. It has to go to the shortest person's shoulder. So, I'm 6'2". Okay? So, my shoulder is probably about 5'11". You know? So, we had to dig a hole that was 5'11 deep. 5'11 deep. Y'all, this shit took two days. This shit took two motherfucking days, all right? It took two days. So, we in this motherfucker just digging. We, you know, we digging, you know, digging, digging, you know, digging, digging, you know, shit like that. Me and my battle buddy. And the thing about this shit that pissed me off is because I didn't know we was going to be staying the night, so I ain't had no baby wipes. I ain't had no, you know, nothing to you know, keep myself fresh, you know. I ain't, I, I ain't know this was going to be going down, you know. I ain't know, you know. So, in my head, I'm like, all right, we're going we gonna to be all right. You know, we're going to dig this hole today. We're going to go home tonight. No. So this is how our sleeping situation went down. Let me kind of break it down, how the whole sleeping arrangement was broken down. All right, so this is, this is basically what they had us do. So every night, you get to sleep for two hours. No, 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 pause. You get to sleep for one hour. Then your battle buddy gets to, um, and I want to say we went to sleep like at like one o'clock in the morning. Your battle buddy has to uh, pull security. So you know how I said I had my battle buddy with me? So he's, he's up for a whole hour like this. You know, just looking around with his weapon like we not at practice or some shit. Like this is basic training. Ain't nothing real about to happen. But you know, you got to get ready for the real scenario. So we just looking at that motherfucker. We just looking, looking around, looking around. So after that hour passes, now it's my turn. Now I got to do the same shit he just did. So we literally slept for only two hours because that's, if you think about it, if we're rotating, that's four hours. So we went to sleep like at two o'clock in the morning and everybody had to be back up at six. So boom, there you have it. We only slept for two hours. We was out there for two days. We was out there for two, no, no, two, two nights. We was out there for two nights. Let me see the first night, second night, and now nah, there was a third night. So yeah, we was out there for three nights and four days. Three nights, four motherfucking days, all right? Three nights, four days. All right, I just fucked that up. Three nights, four days. We're going to do it one more time. Three nights, four days, all right? So now this, this every single day, we ain't going to take no, I mean, every day that passes by, everybody's smelling worse, all right? We ain't take no showers, y'all. We ain't take no showers. We ain't, um, couldn't brush your teeth. I mean, of course, there were some people already knew what the fuck we was doing. So they had their little baby wipes. Had little baby wipes. Had their little, uh, two brushes. Mm -hmm, two brushes. Yeah, real cute. I ain't had none of that shit. Stank breath. Stank breath. Throw that. Breath stank. My hands black as hell. You think I'm black now? Nah, it was black. It was black. Even on this side. Same color as this side. It was this this color. Like it was bad. I was dirty as shit. Um and just to spice it up just a little bit, they were throwing bombs at us. Alright? They were throwing now I don't wanna say they it weren't real bombs. It was like smoke bombs. It was like these little fake uh smoke bombs where they'll throw at us and you know you gotta know what to do. Uh cover! Ah! Put your head down, put your head down. You know, it's always that one motherfucker try to peep, you know, to see what's going on. Joe Sergeant, hey, what the fuck is you doing? You know, stuff like that. Um, when I say I was so tired out there, I was exhausted. I was so, yo, there was one day, literally, I was standing up in the hole and, you know, the little foxhole that we, uh, we built, pointing my weapon, you know, right, right over like the little edge of the shit, you know, pointing my weapon. Fell the fuck asleep. I fell asleep right in with my face in the dirt, y'all. My face, like, like, let's just say just the dirt. Face in the dirt. Face in the dirt. Like, just perfectly planning my shit. And they woke me up, and you are so sleep deprived in training that you don't even realize how tired you are. You don't even realize 
when you fall asleep. Like, literally, I passed out. I would have never just let myself fall asleep right there. Like, nah, I was, like, I ain't mean to do that shit. So when they woke me up, I was like, yo, I was asleep. He was like, yeah, bro, you was knocked out. I said, why you ain't wake me the fuck up? Like, why you, why you let drill sergeant wake me up? He's like, I thought it would be funny. I was like, I, I got you next time. But yeah, man. That ain't in the end, all right? So the end, this is how this shit end. So the whole smoke grenade thing, that part was kind of cool or whatever. Um, Because, you know, you get to kind of experience, like, how the real scenario would be. Then, you know, the drill sergeants, uh, they had, like, this other company that was, like, shooting uh, blanks at us. Now, blanks is basically exactly what it sounds like. Blanks. It's nothing. Like, it's just a sound. Like, but if they're aiming at you and you hear the sound, then, yeah, boom, you got like, you shot Okay, I did. And we got blanks too, so we get to shoot blanks back at them. You know, so it's just a whole lot of sound effects going on. Like, boom, 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 boom. But nothing's really being shot. Nobody's getting hit by anything. Nothing like that. It's training. Um, So the last day, they tell us to pack all that shit up. It's the fourth day. So let's pack all that shit up. We got to make that walk back, y'all. Knowing how long, how long that walk is, and to know you got to do it again. One more time, one more again, one more time. That shit killed my spirit. I was like, Shit. you know, because you can't say nothing out loud. So you and that motherfucker, like, like you can't scream or nothing because drill sergeant just might hear you. So you like, so I'm in there. I'm like, fuck, man, you know. So finally, we get back on that road or whatever. No marching. This time I know how far we going. So I'm like, y'all ain't gonna trick me this time. So you know, I'm marching and shit. You know, got my camel back on my back. So the, my back heavy as shit, cause I got hella water in that shit. Cause I'm sipping and walking, sipping and walking. You know, hopefully I ain't getting no ticket for it, cause I'm sipping and walking. You know, so finally or whatever, we get probably like five miles in. Motherfuckers is dropping like flies. Like people were legit just dropping, just. Like, I don't know if they knees was, was, was like locking or some shit, but. People were dropping like flies, y'all. Like, people were just getting too tired. Like, they would get too tired. Like, we had like an ambulance that... We had like a medic and an ambulance that would like, you know, just uh, just scoop some people up. This is the last event you gotta pass. It's the last event you gotta pass. So in my head, I'm like, I don't care how my body feels. At this point, it's mind over matter. I'm going home. This is the last walk I gotta do. I'm going home home i'm not dropping now we did get breaks um we did get breaks you know you like every for every two miles they'll let us you know like kind of like pull security or whatever you could like rest your legs if you gotta use the bathroom they'll let people go use the bathroom in the forest or whatever um and stuff like that or whatever so we did get some type of break um but the breaks would be like five minutes then you back on the road so now literally like you see the sun go down like, you fuck around, see the sun go up. It took a long time for us to get back, but we made it. And when, when you make it back, it's the best feeling in the world. It's the best. It's like, it's it's different. Like, they give you, um like, this ceremony to where you get to wear, like, this 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 smooth-ass beret. It's not as smooth as my silky do-rag, but I don't know if it's silky or not. It looks silky to me, so fuck. It's silky for the video. But um they give you, like, this thing or whatever. That, you know, you get the... You know, shellac, so everybody knows, like, you're at your end of your um basic training. You made it to the end. You passed Vic Forge. Because Vic Forge is what it's called. Just to let y'all know. I know I said I was going to tell y'all, so it's called Vic Forge. Um, So you pass it or whatever and all that. Like, And it's the best feeling, y'all. It's the best feeling. Like, from there, it's over. So if you get past that, I mean, they may not do it everywhere. Just to let y'all know where I went. I went to um Fort Jackson. For basic training, and I also went to Fort Lee uh, for AIT. AIT was sweet, like that. It was easy. It was extremely easy compared to basic training. Um, but yeah, man, that's my story time, man. That was the hardest. That was the. Hold on, ladybug. <laughs> Daddy coming. <laughs> that was the hardest part of basic training. All right, that was the hardest part for me. All right, Vic Forge. Hey, man, it's your boy Top Boogie. If you're a new viewer, um, go on and subscribe. Everybody hit the like button. Let's get the likes. At least a hundred likes. Let's get a hundred likes on this. Nah, fuck it. Let's get two hundred likes. But um, and also if you have any army related questions, you could DM me on Instagram. My Instagram should be on this side or this side. You know stuff like that. Um, and also turn my post notifications. Amen. It's your boy Todd Boogie.
Out of here, man. I don't know, but the style match the flow. So when niggas stay wavy, up down to the sneakers. And now I ain't talking about no Louis or no Gucci. I'm just talking Rose Dreams and astounding Adidas. You gotta love my humble man, Rumble. Cause I